Today we review the RX 6600. We test 8 modern games to see what the RX 6600 can do at 1080p high and 1080p ultra. The 8 games are Fortnite, Halo Infinite, Red Dead Redemption 2, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Watch Dogs Legion, Far Cry 6, GTA 5 and of course Cyberpunk 2077. So jumping right into our first game, which is Fortnite, 1080p high, an average of 135, a minimum of 53, and a maximum of 192. 1080p ultra, an average of 82, a minimum of 55, and a maximum of 100. Our second game, Halo Infinite, 1080p high, an average of 110, a minimum of 83 and a maximum of 161. 1080p Ultra, an average of 106, a minimum of 85 and a maximum of 157. Red Dead Redemption 2, 1080p High, an average of 74, a minimum of 57 and a maximum of 76. 1080p Ultra, we have an average of 57, a minimum of 19, and a maximum of 76. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 1080p high, average of 124, a minimum of 99, and a maximum of 195. 1080p Ultra, an average of 105, a minimum of 80, and a maximum of 166. Our fifth game, Watch Dogs Legion, 1080p high, an average of 93, a minimum of 144, and a maximum of 58. 1080p Ultra now, average of 63, a minimum of 41, and a maximum of 93. Far Cry 6, 1080p high, average 117, a minimum of 98, and a maximum of 130. 1080p Ultra, an average of 100, a minimum of 74, and a maximum of 132. Our seventh game, GTA 5, at 1080p high, was an average of 84, a minimum of 49, and a maximum of 141. 1080p Ultra, an average of 74, a minimum of 44, and a maximum of 123. And our last game, Cyberpunk 2077, 1080p high, average of 102, minimum of 39, and a maximum of 161. And 1080p Ultra, 102 average, a minimum of 56 and a maximum of 153. So as we can see the RX 6600 is an amazing graphics card for 1080p gaming. I would say this is probably the best budget graphics card currently on the market, certainly that you can buy new anyway. So yes, as we can see 1080p high and even 1080p ultra, the average more or less every game was 60 frames per second or more so it's really performing really well this graphics card you could potentially even go up to 1440p if you wanted to obviously you might go below the 60 fps but on most games i think you'll be all right i think i think you'll be near enough to 60 fps even at 1440p but a 1080p high or 1080p ultra 60 fps average no problem on all games so if you're in the market for a graphics card i think yeah this is this is the card to get this outperforms the rtx 3050 and is kind of in the range of a rtx 3060 or around that sort of level but the rtx 3060 obviously costs significantly more than this graphics card with this graphics card only about 275 pounds or even about 250 pounds at some places this is a real bargain and i would certainly be on it if i was if i was you guys whether you're in the uk europe or even the usa this seems to be pretty much a good price all across the board so i think amd have done a really good job here i will have a future video where i compare the rtx 3050 with this card but the rtx 3050 will perform a little bit lower than this card but it won't be too far off, but it'll be good to compare the two, I think, using the same system, obviously. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you like this video. Leave a comment if you want me to test any other games or anything like that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.